for the last few weeks, I've been dealing with a couple of guys. Oh, I'm also a conditioning, a life conditioning specialist. So I, uh, I coach people's minds and bodies um, to get what they want. I'm a big believer in your physical discipline uh, or your physical appearance will give insights as to your mentality. Um, the reason I believe that is I started out as a really skinny, I uh, got pushed around, da 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 and realized that I could change my situation through discipline. Discipline starts out being painful, it becomes something that you you are you enjoy, and then it becomes something that you don't even have to use anymore because things are habits. I also believe that success is a habit. It doesn't just happen. And physical exercise creates habit. The more habits you can create that are successful, the more likely you are to be successful in what you do. Uh, definitely hold a quote, how you do anything is how you do everything. And that's why I go back to the physical thing Take care of your bodies. Um, you take care of your bodies, you'll take care of your mind. And I'll be very honest with you. No shit in you. Once you start taking care of your body, women will notice. And it's it was the funniest transition for me ever. Like when I started working out and stuff. And I wouldn't, I mean, this is what, and a you know, girl will walk by in a club or something and touch and go, oh, hey. you. Or girls who didn't notice me before had a reason to notice me. It was just something for them to talk to me about. And now we have, now there's a conversation. How did you put on weight? What did you do? Da, da, da. Now you have something to talk about. So that deals with sticking points of conversation right off the top. Anyway, so that's that's my a big thing of what I do uh, and, and what I, I'd like to focus on. Talking about intentions. So I've been talking to guys this week, doing a thing, you know, coaching sessions and people, you know, I've gotten a couple of letters, got a couple of calls and we're talking about intentions. So guys are saying, look, these girls are asking me, what are my intentions with them in one way or the other? Whether you're managing a bunch of relationships, whether you're having one relationship, whether you just met a girl, uh, you know, three weeks and she's like, so what is this? You know, what are, what are we doing? Um, he says, so how do I answer that question, Mark? And I was like, well, you need to take two steps back and you need to answer that question. Yourself. You need to ask yourself that question before it comes up. And what do I mean? Well, if you go into any situation and you don't know what you want from that situation, you're going to take whatever you're given, Right. So if you go up to a girl, and let's, and let's keep this real in context in terms of talking to a woman, getting a woman to uh, be in a relationship with you, to sleep with you, to hang out with you the next morning. If you go into a, uh, a meeting with a girl and you start to talk to her and you're just like, hey, I'm just talking because she's hot, which is a lot of times what we start out doing. Or I'm talking because I want to have sex. I want to get laid. I, if you have at least, that's a start thought. If you just go in there and say, I'm talking. You're going to tell her about, you know, your care belt collection when you were seven years old and she's going to walk away and that's going to be the end of that. So you want to say, what is my intention? What do I want from this girl? So let's talk. I'm in a club. We're, uh, where did we meet them? At the liquor store. So we were at the liquor store yesterday and um, this girl walks by and I'm just going to give you a personal example just to make this theoretical stuff practical. Um, she walks by. I see this girl. I look at her face. I'm like, she's cute. She looks at me. I'm like, cool. She looks at me with disdain. I was like, not so cool. So I look at Mike and I say, um, this is the thing about going through that phase where you kind of sleep with a lot of people. You don't remember some of them. And it really sucks because sometimes you bump into them in places like liquor stores and they're mad at you because you don't remember them. So I was telling him that he's laughing and then they walk by again and I'm like, hi. Just like, hi. Like it was the weirdest hi ever. And she looked at me, she's like, and walked away, and he's kind of laughing at me, and I'm like, yeah, probably slept with her, I'm trying to, or her friend. Like, I'm trying to think, okay, where do I know her from? Long story short, um, I say, I'm going to go find out why she was so, like, why she's so angry right now, because she's walking around, she's mad. My intention is going to make you, I'm going to make you smile, and that's it. Whether your friend hated me for sleeping with you, whether I slept with you and you don't like me, I'm going to make you smile, because you're going to see... That guy is not who I am. And wow, you are a good, you're a good guy. And that's all I was, so I walk over and I say, um, I said something to her. Uh, I was like, hey, I'm sorry. I said, do we know each other? That's it. And she was like, uh, no. And I was like, well, I just wanted to apologize for whatever it is I did in the time that we did know each other. Cause I clearly was a bad guy when I was there. And, and she started laughing and right away. So my, I've gotten my attention. I'm good, but she's laughing now. So from there it was, we ended up at her place a little later. How did that happen? Well, because there was an intention to give her something. I always say, go into a set, go into any time you talk with someone. Heck, you can do this anytime. If your intention is to give something to somebody, you're always going to succeed. And that's a powerful thing. And I'm going to say it again. If your intention is to give something to somebody, you're always going to succeed. 
And when you succeed, what does that do? That gives you motivation to succeed again. My intention is I'm going to give her something. You know what I mean? Even if it's, I'm going to give her some of the joy that I have. I'm going to give her some of the happiness that I have. She might not smile. That's not my problem. I'm going to give her. So if you just start out something small, I'm going to give this person my time. My time's my time is worth a lot. First of all, you have to believe that. You have to know that. You have to own that. Like, how many of you know that your time is worth a lot up here? If I said, you know, a phrase like you said, like, man, you know what? I'm pretty freaking cool. Or as Kanye West, you know, I love him to say, I'm the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But how many of you could say, like, yo, I'm the shit. I have a t-shirt that says, I'm kind of a big deal. And I believe it to no end. If your intention is always to give something, you're always going to be successful. So now you take that little success and go back to that story yesterday. I, she got, she smiled. Hey, no, I don't know you. Blah, blah, blah. And she says something. So now you have a conversational thread. Now you have a bunch of words that she just said that is giving you something to work with. And we always say we don't know what to talk about. Well, when we stay in a moment and listen to what people are saying, you always have something to talk about. Stop trying to sleep with girls. It's messed up. Because when you stop trying to sleep with girls, you'll be able to sleep with girls. Makes no sense, but it makes so much sense. They work differently than us. Um, when you go to sleep with somebody, we have this invisible force that's always around us. Um, this invisible energy that you give off. When you go into a situation, you see a woman and you go, man, I want to beep her. And then you go and talk to her. You know, all she's hearing you say is, this guy's just trying to get in my pants. And you're like, hey, I like your shoes. No, you can't sleep with me. Hey, you want to go for a coffee? No, you can't sleep with me. Because all you're saying to me is I want to sleep. I don't even know who you are. And what you've said to her is, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're about. And quite frankly, I don't care. I see you and I want you because you're a thing to me. And nobody wants to be a thing. Right? Like think, any of y'all, I want you to think back to a moment. Take a moment and think back to a dude that you knew that you used to, you used to hang with. Or used to be in your clique, or used to, you know, whatever you call it, used to be one of your, your guys, your wing guy, who, or you were a wing guy for, which was my case, who only took from you, always took from you. Hey, Sparks, yo, can you come pick me up? Oh, yeah, yeah, isn't that your boy at the door of the club? Oh, I didn't bring my wallet, can you get me a drink? Oh, yeah, yo, go introduce me to that girl. Oh, hey, hey, I'm going to take this girl home, so I'll see you tomorrow. But, but, but. You know what I mean? Or, hey, oh, I knew we were supposed to cab together, but I'm going to go to this girl's house and see what happens. Yo, yo, see you later. And this was just a repeated thing. You'd always take from me. How do you feel? Like, how would you feel if that was your dude? On, and and this, is, this is as simple as it gets. Good or bad? How do those feelings feel? Bad. So now flip that to you're that woman, that 10, who's standing there, who just had 10 guys in the last 15 minutes come and do that to her. How does she feel? Good or bad? bad? Yeah. Now you're going to go and try the same thing. What do you think is going to happen? Guess worse. Success is not really much of an option when you're going to take more from her. Right? You flip that now. And this is, this is uh, you know, Mike, uh, I always, when we, we hang out and, and I'm like, man, I love guys who are assholes. I love them. They make my life so easy. Because I'm a good guy. And so when a girl's dealt with like five assholes, and then I go up and I'm like, how are you? <laughs> yeah, I saw all that. Like, them guys is really on your jock, huh? Sucks to be you sometimes, huh? Luckily, if I stand here, maybe they won't bother me and they'll bother you some more. Oh my gosh, you laughed. High five for that. Okay. So where are your friends? I don't have any... Uh, I mean, like you came to the club by yourself. Just, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be your bouncer from now on. So when you guys come up, I'm gonna stop them, and they have to get a ticket from me in order to talk to you. Deal? All right. All of a sudden now, this girl's like, this guy's cool. He's not trying to. He's, he's just showed me. He's not. All I wanted to do was make her feel better. You feel bad, and I want you to feel good because. Think about when you feel bad. Let's go back to you. So now you felt used. You felt, you know, we felt not fair. It's, it's, not, it's not a good place to be. Do you want to do, do you want someone to come talk to you about something in that position? 
Like, when you feel bad, do you want someone to come say, hey, man, can I borrow your Nintendo? Or, I don't know. If you, <laughs> sorry. If you have Nintendos anymore. <laughs> Girls come over like, you got to eat the Nintendo? I'm like, don't touch that. It's not for you. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, if someone asks you for a favor when you're not feeling good, you're not like, yeah, sure, you can borrow my car. Take it. Go for a ride. Yeah. You're like, like you know, beep off. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I'm feeling bad, and you, and you want to take more from me, even if it had nothing to do with you, right? But now so you start feeling good. Hey, man, can I borrow your car? Think of, when you're, you're, think of one of your best days. Stuff was just going right. You got that girl's number. You went home. She called you, said, I want to see you tonight. You did that. Like, it was just it was one of those days, man. You got your, your favorite meal was on sale at your favorite restaurant. You got them shoes that you've been trying to order for like 16 weeks. You walked into Foot Locker and they were there. You were just happy. Think of those days. And someone asks you something. You know, I let someone, <laughs> I've lent out some stuff on days that I was happy. That I was like, did I do that? Like, hey, man, can I use your house to have a party? Yeah, whatever. Do that. Because you're happy. You're in a good place. When you're in a good place, you're, you're good to give. When you're in a bad place, you're not. And this is the easiest thing about intention. It gets you off a checklist. I don't have to do, build this, build. I don't, I, don't, I don't go through all that stuff in my head. It's really funny. I don't, and yes, you need to build attraction. Yes, you need to build rapport. Yes, you need to have these things. But I don't go through a checklist. My job is I'm going to give her something that she doesn't have before she met me. Because as soon as I leave her life, she's going to go, wow, that guy gave me something that I didn't have. I want him back. Whether she wants to sleep with me or just wants me around. And I guarantee you, if you keep me around long enough... Anyways, um, it, it's, it's inevitable. If you, if you stay around long enough around anybody and you continue to add value, any, I mean, think of girls, and I, this is the one, you think of a girl who you don't find attractive and, and, then, and she, she's nice to you. And you're like, yeah, hey, yeah, whatever. Hey. Someone's a little sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, you know, that, the, the big girl in the, in, the, in, the, in the neighborhood that no one talks. Yeah, yeah, And then she cooks you something. You're like, oh, that's awesome. Thanks. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she this. And, then, and you're always just like, whatever, whatever. And she's always just making you feel good. Every time you're around her, you're just like, man, I just feel good. Man, I feel good. You hang out with her. You know, I have friends who married her. And they're, the, a friend of mine got married about was it, four months ago to a girl. Never. Ever would have thought he would have married. Because back in the day, yo, that girl's soft. Yo, that girl's dating all her friends, dating all, like, yo. Why? Because she was, she was just always there. Why'd you marry that girl? Yo, yo, no matter what I went through, Sparks, that girl always made me feel like I was, like, great. Like I was a king is the word you used. Always made me feel like I was a king. If you make someone feel like they're a queen, not a princess. Princesses are spoiled. Queens are, 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 they're the ones, they, they know that they got something, but they want to be, they want to still feel like, yeah, like, then they're going to look at you as a king. Because only a king will treat a queen the way a queen is supposed to be treated. And also, as an intention, my intention is to always be respected. Always be respected. You can not like me, you can whatever, but you will respect me. And so... Put those two intentions into your game and you'll have a lot of help. Uh, a lot of help in just letting a lot of things go. We talk about management. One of the things about respecting in management, uh, or my intention of respect came from management. Because I was saying, to girl, they'd say, I can't believe you have four girls that you're sleeping with. And I was like, yeah, but you know. And you knew that off the bat. So you can dislike my style, but you can't ever tell me you, you don't respect me being honest. And girls would always go, and gr <laughs> girls would start to tell their other girls, I can't, he, he comes and fucks me, and then he goes to Sarah's house and fucks her. I can't believe it. And her friends would be like, what? He fucks both of y'all? And like, what's his name? <laughs> you know what I mean? And you, I'm dead serious. If you, you, you be honest, be honest, be honest. If you're dating a girl, don't be monogamous with her if you're not monogamous. You know what I mean? If you don't love a girl, don't tell her you love her. Because... That's not the intention of being respected. Because if someone told me I love you and only you, and I'm, Mark, I'm going to be with you and only you, and then I find out she's not, I definitely don't respect her. You know what I mean? Like, the, it's right away. That's the first thing that's taken. I might still care about her. One of the girls I dated, she cheated on me. It was what it was. I still care about her. I still help her out. But I don't respect her, and she can never be with me. My second intention when I meet a woman and I'm talking with her is to find out if I want to spend any more time with her because my time is valuable and I'm kind of a big deal. So do I want to spend time with you? And that intention takes its way. That doesn't last an hour. That lasts as long as it does until I go, I, 
I love you. Will you marry me? Or will you be my girl or whatever your end game is at that point? Um, so my attention doesn't change. You did as you being the girl um, or she being the girl for more better terms. So I was like, do I want do I want to spend time with you right now? Yes. And then tomorrow we hang out. And I'm like, do I want to spend time with you? Yes. And do I want to spend time with you? Yes. Damn, you're cool. I want to actually just be with you. My attention hasn't changed. Now my attention will change to, I want to just be with you and I want to make you know that I just want to be with you. And my intention is every day now to make you smile even more because I just want to be with you. You see, so that's the difference. Um, for me, I, I find not sleeping with women before I know is the best thing for me um, because it just makes it easy for me. Here's why. If my intention is to get to know if I want to spend time with you, if I hang out with you three or four, three times, and I go, man, I don't want to see you again, it's no big deal to you. Because you're like, but I want to hang out with you. And I'm like, you know what? Like, we're kind of on different vibes. Or, you know, we can hang out once in a blue moon, but I got some other stuff to do. As soon as you sleep with somebody, you compound, you compound their, their version of, because I'm trying to get to know who you are. And they'll see you as a person who's not trying to sleep with them. But you're as a person trying to get to know them, which you are. And they want to be with you even more for that. So now you have a hard time trying to get rid of somebody that you don't want to be with, that I've found, that you don't want to be with, um, that you now have. So it's not that your intention has changed, per se, because so you're still being congruent. It's that they, your intention is to find something out okay. at that point. Yeah. That's what dating, I mean, we're all in agreement that that's what dating is, to find out if that's a person you want to spend more time with. You know, and, and I, if you see dating as more than that, please let me know. Because I, I want to know what that is. Um, and so if we look at dating somebody, and again, whether one person or four people, you're saying, I want to see if I want to spend time with you. You know, whether I'm going to be with you only, whether I'm going to be with four of you for the, all of you for the rest of my days, whatever it is. I want to see if I want to spend time with you. If you keep that in mind, I feel like it just leaves you a lot of pressure. 